Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now over here you can see the game exe file. Make a double click on the game exe file and then try to launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to the second tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still not working, then go to properties once again. This time put a check over here, select, select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click, launch the game. Still not working, this time select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply, click on OK and then check. Now still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to now, if you're using any third-party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows Security, in that case, open Windows Settings and then go to Privacy and Security if you have Windows 11. In Windows 10, click on Update and Security and then click on Windows Security. Now, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down and then you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now it will take you to the game installation folder. Now you have to go to the game installation folder. So open C drive, open program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. And then open the game folder. Select the exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of a graphics driver. Uh, do not ignore this. Perform a clean installation. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now once you select your graphic card over here, Make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once you run, run the exe file, you will see the screen, click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to now Run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings. Now click on browse over here, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance. Now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Still not working, open file explorer. Go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data over here on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items. Then open app data folder and find the game folder over here. If you find the game over here. So open the local low folder. Scroll down and over here. 
check here you can see car x technology so you have to delete this folder but when you delete this folder you will lose all the game progress and you have to start everything from scratch and you will lose all the saved settings so if you agree you can just delete this folder but first of all if you want to create a backup you can just copy this folder and you can just maybe backup this folder to the desktop and then once you have the backup now you can delete this folder and once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files so to verify the game files go to steam make a right click on the game select manage uh, select properties and then then go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website download this x86 and x64 file so click on x86 and run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and then download this x64 file click on it now run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and let the installation complete make sure both x86 and x64 are installed once it is complete you will see a restart option make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties and in the launch option go to the general tab in the launch option type in dash dx11 and now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to properties this time type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to disconnect external devices from your computer which you are not using also disconnect any kind of usb adapter extra usb adapter connected to the computer disconnected sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected try launching the game on single monitor and then check disable overlay now for this go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check also close all other overlay applications so if you have overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in geforce experience turn it off so close all the overlay application and then check also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner reward tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it also if you have any kind of third party services running or software running close it including your browsers also if you have an undervolted computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 
1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I've converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. One. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, try to install the game to different drive. So make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. And then restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.